Many naturalists, having cut their teeth on birds, focus on species identification. While understandable and even doable with most avian species, this is not a realistic expectation with many insect orders. Certainly one might think a wasp with bright yellow antennae can be determined to species. And in the Northeast, this character, along with the wing pattern, does the trick. More typically, however, the nearly microscopic minutiae of tibial spurs and the like are the keys to identification and not easily seen in the field. Rather than discouraging the naturalist, this reality opens up new worlds to those willing to realign their expectations. Consider Antipas, a genus that specializes on lycosids, a large flashy group similar to the southwestern tarantula killers these spider wasps are active in late summer and fall. Tracking down and watching one of these ladies search out and capture her formidable prey offers rich rewards for the naturalist. Evans devotes several pages in Wasp Farm to Priocnemus spider wasps. Much of the information on Minerata comes from the work of his student Carl Yoshimoto. Yoshimoto's investigations revealed this wasp's burrow to be about a foot deep. Successive side branches join the main shaft with each terminating in a single larval cell. Minerata, like Anopleus tenebrosus, is active in early spring and preys on spiders that have overwintered as adults. While spider wasps typically seem in a big hurry, they often proceed with all due deliberation. Pausing to scan the immediate vicinity or inspecting their prey, they seem in no hurry to get on with business. It is not unusual to see them sip fluid from the paralyzed spider. Or to take a lengthy break to groom. At this point, the spider's fate is sealed, and in her own good time, Minerata delivers her prize to the burrow, where spider parts will ultimately be repurposed into the living tissue of a member of the next generation of wasps. 